spectrum of diseases and complex illness, earning the moniker, the doctor's doctor. Internists use their vast knowledge, experience, and skill to identify the best possible treatment strategies, making them scientific puzzle solvers. They are proponents of extensive clinical research, evidence-based medicine, and continuing education. Fueled by the commitment to provide high-value patient care that balances science and compassion. In 2023, the Philippine College of Physicians celebrates 70 years of excellence and service above gain. Driven by passion, constancy of purpose, and prudence in internal medicine, take part in the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians on May 7 to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. Together, let's revisit all that we've become and move toward all that we can be. On its 53rd Annual Congress, the Philippine College of Physicians commemorates 70 years of passion, constancy of purpose, and prudence in internal medicine in a series of scientific and celebratory activities on May 7 to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. The four-day gathering begins with a pre-convention meeting on May 7, which opens with the convocation and award ceremonies, followed by Beyond the Box, life lessons for the internist across generations. The second day is highlighted by the 70th Anniversary Presidential Lecture on Hepatitis B and C, addressing the challenges in the Philippines by Dr. Diana Payawal. Day 3 showcases the AG Season Memorial Lectures to be conducted by esteemed international speakers. Explore 5G connectivity in antimicrobial resistance with Professor Robert Bonomo and learn about the Clinical Teaching Toolkit with Professor Jeff Stetson. The scientific program features plenary sessions on a broad range of highly relevant topics. And as always, you can expect the latest updates from a series of simultaneous clinical symposia covering a diversity of health matters as well as young investigator sessions, state-of-the-art lectures, Meet the Exemplars, Free Paper Sessions, PCP Quiz, and Industry-Sponsored Symposia. Don't miss the unique and exciting Fellowship Night, dubbed Platinum, Best of 70 Years, Best of PCP. A full evening of revisiting milestones and music through the decades. Delegates are also encouraged to engage in the insightful Fireside Chats, Healthcare is social, digital, ethical, and I as I, internist as influencer on social media. The Congress is capped by the turnover and closing ceremonies on the last day. Being part of this once-in-a-lifetime 70-year historic celebration on the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians on May 7-10, to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. For more details, download PCP17 mobile app today. For the 2023 Philippine College of Physicians Annual Congress. Before proceeding to register, pay your annual dues separately through your chapters. 
make sure you are updated on your annual dues, as this might cause some delay in your registration for the annual Congress. Wait for 24 hours before proceeding to register if you have just paid your annual dues. Before starting your online registration, make sure you have a stable internet connection. Let us now proceed to the online registration. Step 1. Go to the website pcpannualcongress2023.com Step 2. Scroll down to Registration section and click Register Now button. You will be redirected to the registration platform. Step 3. Choose your category accordingly and click on the corresponding button. If you belong to any of the following group shown on screen, then click on the third button for the complimentary registrations or waived registration fee. Step 4. Fill in the form with your necessary information. You will also be asked to input your password and confirm. Make sure all information are correct. Step 5. Click Submit and proceed to payment. Step 6. Choose your payment method. Upon successful processing of payment, you will receive an email confirmation. Look for this subject in your inbox. Check also your other folders or even your spam. If you are a PCP member that already paid through GCash or Union Bank before April 1, 2023, follow Step 1 and Step 2. Then for Step 3, click the button. PCP members paid through GCash, Union Bank Bills Payment. Input the necessary information and password, and make sure to attach a copy of your proof of payment. Make sure all information are correct, then click Submit. If you PCP member they paid through your chapter before April 1, 2023, follow Step 1 and Step 2. Then for your Step 3, click the button, Paid Through Chapters. Fill in the necessary information and password. Do not forget to attach a copy of your proof of payment. Make sure all information are correct. Then, click Submit. You will then receive an email confirmation with this subject. Thank you, and we hope to see you in the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians. Internists occupy a unique role in healthcare. They are experts in a spectrum of diseases and complex illness, earning the moniker, the doctor's doctor. Internists use their vast knowledge, experience, and skill to identify the best possible treatment strategies, making them scientific puzzle solvers. They are proponents of extensive clinical research, evidence-based medicine, and continuing education. Fueled by the commitment to provide high-value patient care that balances science and compassion. In 2023, 
The Philippine College of Physicians celebrates 70 years of excellence and service above gain. Driven by passion, constancy of purpose, and prudence in internal medicine, take part in the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians on May 7 to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. Together, let's revisit all that we've become and move toward all that we can be. On its 53rd Annual Congress, the Philippine College of Physicians commemorates 70 years of passion, constancy of purpose, and prudence in internal medicine in a series of scientific and celebratory activities on May 7 to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. The four-day gathering begins with a pre-convention meeting on May 7, which opens with the convocation and award ceremonies, followed by Beyond the Box, life lessons for the internist across generations. The second day is highlighted by the 70th Anniversary Presidential Lecture on Hepatitis B and C, addressing the challenges in the Philippines by Dr. Diana Payawal. Day 3 showcases the AG Season Memorial Lectures to be conducted by esteemed international speakers. Explore 5G connectivity in antimicrobial resistance with Professor Robert Bonomo and learn about the Clinical Teaching Toolkit with Professor Jeff Stetson. The scientific program features plenary sessions on a broad range of highly relevant topics. And as always, you can expect the latest updates from a series of simultaneous clinical symposia covering a diversity of health matters as well as young investigator sessions, state-of-the-art lectures, Meet the Exemplars, Free Paper Sessions, PCP Quiz, and Industry-Sponsored Symposia. Don't miss the unique and exciting Fellowship Night, dubbed Platinum, Best of 70 Years, Best of PCP. A full evening of revisiting milestones and music through the decades. Delegates are also encouraged to engage in the insightful Fireside Chats, Healthcare is social, digital, ethical, and I as I, internist as influencer, on social media. The Congress is capped by the turnover and closing ceremonies on the last day. Being part of this once-in-a-lifetime 70-year historic celebration on the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians on May 7-10. to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. For more details, download PCP17 mobile app today. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord. Our dearest Heavenly Father, thank you for making all things possible. We are grateful for all the blessings you are pouring upon each one of us, despite the challenges we are all currently facing. Thank you for blessing us today with the wonderful opportunity to meet virtually and learn together in the awesomely exciting webinar. May your blessings of wisdom and guidance be upon us, all through the sharing and impartation of knowledge and skills by our resource speakers, facilitators, and moderators, may all of us learn together, upgrade our competencies, and capacitate us to be the help in the development of our learners' lives and communities in the spirit of your love and generosity. May we now humbly commit every part of this webinar to you as we all bring you the glory honor and praises for your kingdom and holy name's sake. All this we pray in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.
The Philippine College of Physicians, through the Committee on Media Communication and Health Forum, presents its bi-monthly lay forum to promote the advocacies and mission of the college and its component and affiliate societies. An avenue of accurate and up-to-date conversations with the media and the general public. With timely and diverse topics, covering vital public health and medical information straight from the experts in a platform that is convenient, accessible, and highly engaging. Welcome to the PCP Health Forum! Committee on Social um, Committee on Media Communications and Lay Forum, welcoming you to this morning's webinar. Sa umagang ito, kakaiba po ang ating magiging discussion kasi po ipopromote po natin ang kinapakaabangan ng ating mga members, ang ating ibang stakeholders sa ating society, walang iba kundi ang ating annual congress where all the members nationwide meet once a year. So the annual convention is the ultimate activity of the PCP. And you all know that the first annual convention uh, began in 1971 under the administration of Dr. Antonio Samia. Henceforth, it has become a regular, uninterrupted PCP pursuit for the coming years. As these meetings and topics evolve through the years, as well as more funds will come in by a sponsorship of the pharmaceutical industries and other fundraising avenues. The PCP annual convention also came to reflect the community's needs at the time. As we celebrate the society on its 70 years, it paves the way to the theme of the annual congress of passion, constancy, and purpose. The journey already began last January 2023 with the Nutrition Summit, followed by the boot camp in February 2023. Also, we had a lecture on the role of the internist in universal health care last March. All these three events were indeed informative and were well attended. May 7 is already fast approaching and it is now barely 20 days before the annual Congress. To learn more about the upcoming Congress, the PCP Committee, Committee on Media Communications and Lay Forum, in cooperation with the Publicity Committee of the Organizing Committee of the 53rd Annual Congress, invites you to learn more about this annual meeting. So I may now call on the Vice President and the overall Chair of the 53rd Annual Congress of the PCP, Dr. Ron Ginsilante, to give us his welcome remarks. Dr. Solante, magandang umaga. Hi, Ginger. Uh, good morning. Good morning also to our uh, media friends, our colleagues, and to everyone who are present here in this uh, media forum. Uh, I welcome everyone to this uh, initiative of the media communications. Okay. Si Sir 
medyo siguro po nagkakaroon lang ng um, issues sa internet. So, thank you Dr. Solante. We'll just the Dr. Solante will be back later to give his uh, overview of the annual congress. So, I know everyone is excited to learn more about the congress. I will just give the floor to the head of the scientific committee, Dr. Minet De Rosario to give us the overview of the scientific program. Dr. Minet, alam ko po na maraming uh, topics na pin-repair ang ating scientific committee. Uh, yes, Dr. Ginger, good morning. Um, so for, let's start off first with the overall theme of the Congress. No, this is the, um, so we're celebrating the 70th anniversary for this 53rd annual Congress. We're, for the 70th year, you have the platinum as the major element or um, uh, what do you call this um, stone. <clears throat> and it signifies actually strength, durability, and purity. So for that, we're going for passion, constancy of purpose, and uh, prudence in internal medicine. What we're talking about for passion is our physicians, all our physicians continuing passion for what we do in the clinical work, administrative areas, education, and research. And we're also emphasizing in this um, program the the information or what we want to learn so far. For the constancy of purpose, you will see in the uh, program the advocacy mainly for <clears throat> research. We have almost 20 sessions split into the young investigator sessions and the free paper sessions. And then for the um, aspect of prudence in internal medicine, um, I want to remind or even emphasize that Prudence is about right acting or right reasoning in our actions. And we can do this only if we have um, the information to be able to reflect and decide well. And this current uh, annual Congress program actually contains topics that contribute to what we know to act with good judgment. So for the annual Congress, it actually kicks off... Um, uh, for the main sessions, we, we have the presidential lecture by uh, Dr. Apayawal, and she's going to talk about hepatitis B and C in the Philippines and the challenges in its management. We have the meet the exemplars following that. I, I want to inform everyone that there are 35 clinical symposia, 14 state of the art lectures, more than uh, 15 uh, industry sponsored symposia and then you have also we want to highlight during the congress the launch of the Philippine textbook of intro <clears throat> have eight plenary sessions and uh, we split up the AGC on memorial lecture to um, to give room for two foreign speakers And we also have, uh, I want to emphasize that there are two fireside chat sessions in within those plenary sessions. And of course, we have the fellowship night on May 8th. Dr. Ginger. Hello, ma'am. Abinet, um, thank you for, you're already finished with your uh, overview, ma'am. Yes, yes, Dr. Ginger. Thank you. So, uh, thank you for preparing that comprehensive um, scientific program. And that everyone can notice, siguro, that it's very um well versed not all all ano all aspects covered hindi lang talaga puro medical ma'am no there are other things that was covered for the 
convention for the interest of our different members. So, ma'am, we will reserve the questions for later. So, may I now call on Dr. Deborah Bernardo, the head of the Publicity Committee of the 53rd Annual Congress, to give us the sites wherein our uh, members and other stakeholders who are interested on our annual congress, san sila pwede. And I think you have other things to discuss, ma'am, about the publicity of our annual congress. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah, good morning, everybody. So uh, I am happy to tell you that our website is already live and on, uh, has all the links that uh, we need for the registration and to look at the different topics for the convention. So that will be PCP Annual Congress 2023.com. You can go to that site and we have the instructions there on how to register as well as all the topics and even the um, booking for your hotel reservations will also be found in that site. There's also a detailed uh, instructions about how to register for the Congress. And then, uh, also, of course, we have uh, all the different social media platforms like your Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. We will be regularly updating these uh, <sighs> sites so that you are uh, in the loop. On everything that will be happening, we will be highlighting different uh, the different activities as they come together, as they come as we come closer to the convention. So, and then uh, we also have merchandise. Of course, this is our seventieth anniversary, platinum anniversary. It's a milestone celebration for the PCP. So we will have available uh, T-shirts and other memorabilia that will be displayed uh, in a booth during the convention. We have T-shirts, jackets, emblems, also lanyards, mugs, and uh, as well as um, emblems for cars that you may you may want to use eventually after the convention. We also have um, different colors of T-shirts, a new uh, design for T-shirts, specifically designed for the um, annual, uh, the 70th anniversary. So, and we have caps. These are already approved and available in, are now in production. These are the latest uh, styles and designs that we will be offering for purchase during the convention. So we look forward to celebrating the 70th anniversary with everybody in PICC on March, May, May 7 to 10. So we hope to see all of you there. Thank you, Dr. Debbie, for the Publicity Committee. Uh, marami pong mga preparation and mga ginawa nilang posters and reminders to our members. Alam ko po na medyo um, online na tayo, no? medyo taking na po ang ating mga registration and therefore we find it uh, very important for today's webinar or our conference to give spotlight on the video on how to register. Kasi yan po importante, hindi po tayo makaka-attend ng convention kung hindi po tayo registrado. So may I ask the IT committee now to please play the video on how to register. Thank you. Good day. Here is a quick guide on how to navigate the online registration portal for the 2023 Philippine College of Physicians Annual Congress. Before proceeding to register, pay your annual dues separately through your chapters. Make sure you are updated on your annual dues, as this might cause some delay in your registration for the Annual Congress. Wait for 24 hours before proceeding to register 
if you have just paid your annual dues. Before starting your online registration, make sure you have a stable internet connection. Let us now proceed to the online registration. Step 1. Go to the website pcpannualcongress2023.com Step 2. Scroll down to Registration section and click Register Now button. You will be redirected to the registration platform. Step 3. Choose your category accordingly and click on the corresponding button. If you belong to any of the following groups shown on screen, then click on the third button for the complimentary registrations or waived registration fee. Step 4. Fill in the form with your necessary information. You will also be asked to input your password and confirm. Make sure all information are correct. Step 5. Click Submit and proceed to payment. Step 6. Choose your payment method. Upon successful processing of payment, you will receive an email confirmation. Look for this subject in your inbox. Check also your other folders or even your spam. If you are a PCP member that already paid through GCash or Union Bank before April 1, 2023, follow Step 1 and Step 2. Then for Step 3, click the button PCP Members Paid Through GCash Union Bank Bills Payment. Input the necessary information and password and make sure to attach a copy of your proof of payment. Make sure all information are correct, then click Submit. If you are a PCP member that already paid through your chapter before April 1, 2023, follow Step 1 and Step 2. Then for your Step 3, click the button, Paid Through Chapters. Fill in the necessary information and password. Do not forget to attach a copy of your proof of payment. Make sure all information are correct, then click Submit. You will then receive an email confirmation with this subject. Thank you, and we hope to see you in the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians. Uh, I hope that alam ko naman very helpful itong ating uh, video on how to register. So I hope that our members will already register. Mag-register na po tayo kasi uh, medyo um, medyo yung ating registration numbers are not that high yet. But hopefully this coming days you will now be more um, diligent to register. Kasi po, um, importante ho nakaregister. Hindi ho pwedeng umaten ng hindi ho nakaregister. So take this opportunity to register already. So to avoid crowding in the convention. By the way, we'd like to remind na our annual convention will be held at the Philippine International Convention Center. Uh, Doon po yung ating venue. And it's a face-to-face a uh, convention. So, um, before we go on to the Q and A portion, we will ask our um, the chair and the co-chair to give us uh, an overview. But I encourage everyone to please type in your questions or clarifications. This please take this opportunity to uh, ask us on any of your issues or problems because we want everyone to attend this uh, annual convention after three long years na face-to-face -face po tayo finally. So may I call on the co-chair 
of the annual congress, Dr. Eloisa de Guia, to give us a overview of the annual congress. Good morning, Dr. de Guia. Hi, good morning to everyone. Um, the 53rd annual congress is a four-day affair which marks the platinum year of the college. As discussed earlier, the scientific sessions would be something to look forward to. Now, aside from these scientific sessions, there are other sessions worth listening to, like the media exemplars, young investigator sessions, the IM grand rounds, uh, the presidential uh, lecture uh, by Dr. Payawal, uh, the Antonio G. C. Sodermill lecture. This time we have two speakers uh, talking on different topics like the renaissance of the uh, beta lactamase inhibitors and clinical teaching toolkit. Next slide. So uh, to summarize the number of speakers, we have 86 local. The foreign would be six, so a total of 92 speakers uh, for this session, for this annual congress. So as discussed by uh, Dr. Minet, uh, this would be the rundown of the sessions that we have. The plenary sessions would be eight. State of the art would be 14. The clinical symposium would be 35. The industry sponsored would be 30. And pre congress would be two. Um, this is the second year for the IM Grand Rounds. And uh, the discussions or the oral presentation will be done on two days. That will be on May 8th and May 9th. Next. And the much awaited Adrian C. Peña PCP Medical Quiz Contest. The grand finals will be held on Monday, uh, May 9th. Next. And the fellowship night, uh, platinum, the best of uh, the 70 years, the best of PCP. Um, there will be local performers, uh, usual talents from PCP. And likewise, we have invited uh, some uh, invited talents to spice up the night. So this is something we have to look forward to. And likewise, uh, it is during this Congress that the much awaited book launching of the PCP textbook of Internal medicine would be done, which would happen on the three. That's it. Thank you, Dr. Digi Dr. Digia, for the overview. And may I ask Dr. Solante for any more additional things that you would like to add? Yes, uh, Ginger. No, I would like also to add uh, what uh, Dr. Eloy had mentioned. That as part of our convention, uh, I would like to invite everyone also for our grand fellowship uh, night on May 8th, which will uh, showcase uh, a musical entertainment no? featuring the milestones of the past uh, 70 years with performances from acclaimed musical icons, including past PCP presidents and remarkable talents from our college. And then since this will be our first face-to-face -face meeting uh, for, uh, since the pandemic, and we're still in the pandemic, but obviously uh, we, will, we, don't, we will not be having a hybrid uh, uh, format now. No? So this is our first face, uh, full face-to-face. -face. And I would like to encourage our members also to be really present. And uh, we have one of the... Uh, uh, important uh, features of this convention is the legacy walk okay or the le legacy wall which is uh, will be located in the secretariat building which will be a walk down memory lane of the uh, milestones of the college and important contributions of the uh, different uh, presidents and leadership for the past 70 years in the practice of medicine in our uh, country and uh, I think uh, this is also our way of uh, preparing for our 75th year 
And uh, I would like to announce also that the Philippines will be the host of the ICIM in 2028, which will be the International Congress in Internal Medicine. And we will be preparing for the next years before the Congress, the, this International Congress in 2028. So to be constantly updated and for ease in navigating the program, uh, you may download the PCP app or visit the website of the Congress. Whatever your specialty or subspecialty, the scientific meetings will provide uh, essential knowledge to keep you updated on the most recent advances in patient care within your arena. So again, let us maximize this opportunity to learn and uh, we hope to see you all there in the in this uh, dates May 7 to May 10. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you, Dr. Solante. So napaka exciting, no? Habang tumalapet, we're getting to know more about the convention, and I know everyone is excited to see each other after three long years. Magikita kita na po tayo. Pero sure, na dumpa rin po yung pag-iingat because we know that hindi pa po nandiyan pa rin po si COVID. So now we'll proceed, we'll proceed to our question and answer to our open forum. We'll ask our guest na kung kayo po yung sasagot dun sa inquiry. I think I just have to repeat it kasi paulit-ulit pong itong question na to. Um, ito po ang question. From Miss Emily Ruiz Jacinto, ma, meron po bang virtual attendance from for the PCP Congress for those who will not be able to join through the face-to-face -face this May. I will just to ano, ha, incorporate the other questions kasi may iba daw po na if no hybrid platform will be done, uh, do we have an on-demand for this, for this uh, pay, uh, instances daw? On-demand, video on-demand. Tapos, mayroon din sinabi na due to unavoidable circumstances, wouldn't be able to attend the face-to-face -face meeting but I have already registered. So, paano daw po yung mga ganitong situation? Okay, uh, Ginger, can I answer that? Yes, sir. So, as I mentioned, no, as we mentioned, that this will really be a full face-to-face -face and we don't have, uh, we will not be having the hybrid uh, format of this year's annual Congress. And uh, that's why we encourage everyone to be here. But for those who really cannot be here, uh, the organizing committee, uh, will is planning to uh, produce an on-demand video, but that will not be during the convention, but that will only be after the convention. And we will decide what month uh, or how many days or how many weeks after the convention. And uh, of course, an on-demand uh, video of lectures will only be uh, uh, will be only be posting uh, selected lectures, no? So you cannot. You, it's not all all the lectures that will be conducted during the convention that will be on demand. So again, uh, we really encourage everyone to be there at the uh, PICC for this uh, congress. Sir, in connection to that, uh, ang question ko po. Nagregister po ako. Hindi ako pumunta. May nag-view po ako na on demand. Will I still get CPD units for this? Yes, of course, because uh, that on demand uh, video is intended really to have them their uh, CPD units. So they will still get their CPD units. Okay. Yes. Sir, ilang po ba yung CPD units po nitong ating annual congress? Uh, Net, uh, do, do we have already the CPD units available? Uh, sir, wala pa pa. Okay. Sige. So, popost na lang, Dr. Uh, Minet. Ipopost na lang po once it's available. Yes. Okay. Uh, other questions po. You mentioned about the launching of the first uh, Philippine textbook on internal medicine. So, ang next question po doon is, will this be available for sale during the annual congress? Uh, the For the launch, uh, the textbook on internal medicine committee mentioned to us that uh, there will be a limited number of available volume one uh, textbooks. Volume one lang muna po kasi uh, the 
content of volume two was so extensive. It, it uh, we're still working on it. Okay, so yon. Uh, I just uh, para launching volume one and then to follow yung volume two. So congratulations to that committee. No, it's a very big step. For, for us to be proud as Filipino internists. Uh, in relation again to the CPD units, sino pong pwedeng sumagot dito sa ating panelists? Is the CPD units based on the number of hours attended? Yes. Uh, as much as possible, we have requirements no, for the CPD. So uh, you should be there for the, for the, for the three days uh, uh, convention. And that's a requirement for us to give the full uh, CPD units. Uh, Ginger, I would like to correct on the on-demand video because uh, that's, on, that's only a plan. No, that's not yet finalized. No, because uh, we really want everyone to be in the in the venue. No, so uh, that will be up to the board yet if we will be providing an on-demand. But for now, we don't have an on-demand video planned yet. But that's that. That will be part for those who really cannot attend and have already registered. Okay, we might provide that now, but for everyone that is planning to attend and uh, thinking that there will be an on-demand as an option, okay, so as an option, there will that there's no option for an on-demand video at this point in time. We encourage everyone to attend the full face-to-face -face annual congress. So clear, sir, no? Wala pang definite plans about it. So we encourage everyone, especially those who have already yet registered, to be uh, at the PICC for yes, the from, for, from May 7 to May 10. So it's very clear. Isa pa pong question about registration. Will registration be available on-site and can they pay on-site? Sir, cash. They would like to pay on cash. Ayaw nila. <laughs> some, kasi di ba, some are, are not comfortable with online banking or GCash. Will we accept those uh, transactions during the annual congress? Okay, so <clears throat> I would like to clarify here no, that as much as possible, we really encourage everyone to go online to register for this annual congress. No? But in any event, okay, in any event that you cannot register and you're not comfortable of paying uh, through your cash or bank or whatever is that, okay, kindly uh, coordinate with our secretariat, okay? Yes, we're planning to have an on-site uh, registration as an option. Again, that is also an option because we want everyone to be registered online. So sir, ang klaro lang sa ating members, kahit nandun po kayo physically sa PICC, nandun po kayo sa registration booth, kailangan nyo pa rin pong mag-register online. So I think sir, ang ibig sabihin po, gadgets may will be available there, hindi po pwedeng manual. Tama po ba sir? Walang manual na sulat? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Sa even face-to-face -face po sa PICC. Uh, yes. And then I think uh, we will also accommodate, no? So, so mag-online sila, pero kung ayaw nilang magbayad sa, sa through online, then uh, kindly communicate with the secretariat so that we can arrange some other options, most likely during the uh, physical appearance doon sa Congress pag nandun na sila. Mm -mm. Saka we encourage online kasi, sir, di ba, para ma-avoid mo yung line, no? Yung ating... Correct. That, that's the uh, purpose of that. Oo. Oh, oh, saka para stress free ang ating ano convention that's why we're doing this and this is going to be something na talaga it's an ano naman international thing na nangyayari no all conventions are done this way so siguro kailangan lang po ng practice para sa ating mga members and that's very important sa na makapag-register tayo. Tapos sa pa sir, may mga questions about RFID or those who have uh, IDs. Um what if they lost their IDs or walang di nila makita yung mga ID nila. Paano po bang mangyayari that day? Kasi uh, I think para ho may basis as I've experienced, yung CPD units mo will be based on the um the RFID that the machine will sense where you're inside the conference halls. Tama po ba? 
Uh, yes, para yes. yung mga taong walang ID or nawala po yung RFID nila, what will they do? Yeah. So again, we will be providing assistance you no know, to those who have the lost uh, RFID IDs. You no, know? so we will have uh, the secretariat uh, office there that will be that that's part of the functions of the uh, secretariat to assist also our members on matters related with lost ID, lost RFID uh, identification card, and other matters related with uh, uh, problems on 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 registration. Okay. Pero sir, there's no deadline on the registration. There's no pre-registered um uh, parang early bird walang ganun sir na fee, di ba? It's all the same. The same, the same ang ano. Pero I think Debbie has uh, uh prepared parang early bird uh ano yung pini-prepare mo Debbie? Ah, yes. Ang bibigay pag mga yung mga early bird uh, registrants. Yes, pero naubos na sir kasi nag-register na. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. But we are giving uh blast to the past memorabilia. So we will be giving to the first few hundreds of registrants uh memorabilia PCP watch watch. So but unfortunately we have run out of this because We already have over 3,000 uh, registrants. So ilan ma'am yung ipamimigay ng PCP na uh, na nagkaroon ng price? Uh, 200 for the oh, first no, 200. 200. Oh, napaka ano no, napakasaya. Mag-register ka lang, nagkaroon ka pa ng libreng watch and they can claim that during the convention, ma'am. Yes, during the convention. We oh, so, are pwedeng kunin ng ibang tao. Hindi pwedeng kunin ng ibang tao. Dapat sila yung kumuha personally. Yes. But we might be giving away t-shirts also. We will uh, decide if we can give additional uh, freebies for those who registered early. Okay. Will you post their names, ma'am? Na isa sila sa mga early bird? Sampo yes. nila makalaman na early bird po sila. We will do that on our social media uh, platforms and also uh, at the registration area when you come on May 7 or 8. Okay, so sa mga members, ha, kung isa kayo sa mga masisipag na maagang nag-register, tignan nyo po yung pangalan nyo. Baka ho kayo ay nanalo ng swatch, watch, no? Doktora, hindi naman niya yung Omega. <laughs> Kasi yung in-demand. So, swatch, watch ng PCP na 200 pieces. Tapos may pa t-shirt pa daw. So, yon So, nag-register ka na ng maaga. Tapos, nanalo ka pa. No? Saan pa talaga tayo pupunta kung dito sa PCP? Mayroon bang question po dito? Some do not have their white RFID yet. Can they use the orange one, which is the old one daw? Yes, they they can bring their uh, orange one, no? Uh, kasi wala naman tayong bagong mga pinapalit ng mga IDs ngayon. So, in fact, uh, we're still using our... But for those who has not gotten their white RFID uh, ID yet, no? For whatever reason is that, uh, they still can bring the the orange one. Okay. So, kahit ano, sir, pwede. Basta dalhin yung ID nila. Okay, about the merchandise, Doktora Debbie, na, na kasi kanina pinakita mo na, pwede po ba yung advance orders? Tatawag po sila sa PCP na they're interested kumuha ng shirts or ng cap mo. Is this already available or is just going to be available during the annual congress? Uh, you can call the PCP secretariat and look for Anna to reserve your t-shirts if there are preferred sizes that we would want, and also for the new caps and emblems that we have uh, um, prepared for you because we want to have an idea also about the number that we will uh, order. So it will be better, and to ensure that you get your correct sizes, you can call the secretariat or Later, we can give you um, through the 
social media platforms a link where you can order, pre-order this uh, memorabilia. Okay. So, ma'am, yung ating mga merchandise will be available during the annual congress at the booth area. Tama po ba? May booth tayo for this um, merchandises. Yes. It will be available at the booth beside the registration area. Okay. Uh, ask ko lang po about the fellowship night. Are all me, me, uh, are all registrants invited or is this exclusive for members only? Because I know that may mga umaattend din po sir na non-members. Uh, how about the yeah. non-members? Are, there, are they invited to join the fellowship night? Uh, this is... Uh... Priority is the, the members now because this is also will be a limited uh, seats. Uh, this will be in the plenary hall, which will accommodate 3,500 plus, but uh, as much as possible. This is a first come, first serve uh, basis. No? So for those who are registered, tapos hindi naman non member and are, and are interested to watch the fellowship night, they can, they can go. No? Pero yun nga, uh, halimbawa, mapuno na yung plenary hall, hindi na, nata- hindi na tayo magpapapasok. So, uh, everyone that who are registered are are, are in, uh, invited for this fellowship night, regardless we are a member or a non-member. Okay. So, limited lang po yung capacity. I know, sir, that we are a growing membership, no? Parang tama po, 12,000 members already. Uh, yes. Yes. Thousand, sir, yes. Mga, po. So if everyone attends, parang konting percent lang, pero yung nga, first come first basis na lang po ang mangyayari. So we are growing family ng mga internists. Um, I was looking through the chat box. Uh, there are no further questions here. I know, no, here. Another question from Miss Arlinda Pasina. May I know if wearing a face mask and physical distancing, etc., will still be observed? Definitely, the physical distancing will not be properly observed because we are in full capacity, no? And there's no advice naman na we have to observe the physical distance, but of course, we always want everyone to be protected. No? So wearing a face mask is again is an option, and uh, of course we encourage, no, especially during these times that uh, we still have COVID in the Philippines. So we encourage everyone to to wear the face mask, particularly if you're high risk. If you're not high risk and you are going home to an high to a high risk population for your lola, your grandmothers or grandfathers, then we really highly encourage to. To wear the face mask, but again, no. Most importantly, we encourage that all participants should be or should have received their full uh, vaccine or updated boosters, no, to 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 have a better protection, and and that's that's important. Um, Ginger, no, I would like to. There's a text message from me here that I think this is one of the uh, fellows that will be or the diplomat. Kung ilan ba daw yung allowed, kung pwede ba daw magdala ng parents nila during the... Uh, ah, sa induction, sir. Opo. Yeah, sa induction. No? So, we allowed uh, a maximum of uh, two lang no? sa mga parents. no Kung parents man yan or lola, so maximum of two lang. No? So, more than that, we, may, we might not be able to accommodate kasi... Uh, masyadong mar- marami na rin, no? and again uh, the, the, the venue of the oath taking during the plenary uh, is the plenary hall and that will be during the opening uh, ceremony Okay, thank you sir para sa additional information I'm sure the, their parents and their families are very proud kaya alam ko excited sila pumunta lalo na after three years no sir magkakaroon na ng parang face to may face to face event na po so sir is a corollary to the vaccine sir kailangan nire-require po ba ng PICC na magdala ng vaccine well, the security guards check the vaccine cards of our participants or our delegates actually we don't require any more no vaccination cards no because that has also been lifted by the uh, by the government no 
but again we encourage everyone to when participating events like this no since we are all healthcare workers we should have received our vaccines now for those who are not vaccinated and planning to attend the full face to face you are welcome to attend okay you are still welcome to attend Okay. Sir, may another question from Dr. Grace Nilo. Can they bring kids to PICC? Please. Oh, we, we, we don't allow kids in, in a Congress. No, we don't allow kids in the Congress. Okay, so we strictly will implement that na hindi kasama ang kids sa Congress, only the delegates. But for the opening ceremony, uh, yung mag oath taking uh, it should be the Preferably the parents or the 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 uh, not not the kids. Mm -mm. So iwana na lang muna nila yung mga anak nila, kasi para sa safety den ng uh, ng mga anak. So i video na lang nila para gusto nila makita o mag picture picture. Very nice question, no? Kasi minsan nga may ibang ano members na they bring their family and yung mga bata na sa sama. So I know that you have more questions to ask, sir. Because habang palalap palapit ng palapit yan, alam ko ng marami pang tanong or mga clarifications that I know our members may have. So I think the secretariat and the members of the organizing committee are more than willing to answer your questions and inquiries. So before we end po this um. Lecture or our webinar on our annual congress. I'll call on each of the committee chair to give us a final invitation to our members before I call on our president, Dr. Minet Del Rosario. May I ask you to please invite and give last words to our members and stakeholders? Yes. Uh, thank you. Again, we are welcoming and very excited to see everyone and. Uh, we hope that you will participate and uh, listen to all the sessions that we prepared for all of you. And this is going to be a uh, uh, evidence-based knowledge impact. And uh, uh, we also included ethical sessions and research, of course, so that everyone can learn and we can all use this information to be better physicians for all our patients. Thank you. Thank you, doc Dr. Minet. Dr. Debbie, ano po ang masasabi ng ating publicity for the annual congress? So we are all excited to welcome everyone to PCP on May 7. Uh, like we said, please register as soon as possible. We have the links to the PCP annual congress 2020.com website or and we also have uh, the different Viber groups of the different chapters. So if you have any questions, you can call your specific chapter to help you out in the registration. Because there are also options that you can pay through your chapters. And we have the um, conventional text messaging. You can look up the numbers of your different chapters also through the uh, pcp.org.ph website. So we would like to make all of this streamlined so that we will have a smooth running of the convention as soon as you get to PICC on May 7. So it will be ready to welcome all of you there. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Dr. Digia, the co-chair from the Quezon City chapter, yung nga pala po, we'd like to inform that the Quezon City chapter of Quezon City is co-hosting this annual congress. Ma'am? Yeah. Yes, uh, as QC chapter president, um, we co-host with the PCP National. This uh, welcome back activity for the college, the first face-to-face -face after three years. So this is an exciting um, meet up with all of our colleagues with all the good and interesting topics. We look forward to see you from May 7 to May 10. That's it. Thank you, ma'am. And sir, the overall chair of the annual congress. Yes, uh, yes again, no, we encourage all our members to participate and to be there 
during the Congress, uh, as mentioned by our different chairs of the ORGCOM, and you also saw the presentation of the scientific committee. We have the fellowship night. We have a lot of things to do there during the convention. And of course, uh, it's also good to see you there in person. No? For the past three years, we've been on webinars and Zoom, and it's a time that uh, we'll be meeting each other. And uh, the organizing committee, the board, the current Exicom is really preparing for this annual Congress. And uh, we hope that we will, all the members will be there. And uh, this is for the members. This is for the college. We will see, we hope to see you all there. Thank you, sir. So thank you sa ating mga speakers and panelists for today's discussion. And before we end this um, parang conference for our annual Congress, of course, we will not forget uh, the support and the help of our president of the PCP. May I call on Dr. Alcantara Payawal. Good morning po, Dr. Hi, good morning, Ginger. So... I think everything has been said, and yes, it's true. The Philippine College of Physicians has been in the front line for the past two or three years during the pandemic. So we have grown from a totally virtual conference, and last year we were hybrid, but this time we have gone back, and that is a full face-to-face -face conference. We assure you that we have done all the necessary precautions um, for this convention, as well as um, the mandate of this uh, this presidency is actually education. So we've started our pre-con with the universal health, and of course the boot come from the younger members, and of course the new strategy of nutrition. So I guess the convention will be a good scientific interchange of our colleagues, and I look forward to having you there. We also want to um, remind that this is open to non-members, so. Um, you'd like to update yourself on the latest infectious um, cardiology, gastroenterology, and of course, uh, pulmonary and the rest of specialty, nephrology, endocrine. We have a lot of component societies under the Philippine culture position. And therefore, we invite everyone to update themselves in this academic forum. Again, I'd like to, of course, uh, congratulate and thank our Vice President, Dr. Eugene Salante, and his team for coming up with a very good strategy of doing a face-to-face. -face. Not easy, I guess, no. Hindi po madali, pero we did it, and I hope it comes to them. Again, thank you, and see you. Thank you, uh, Ginger, from the Committee on Media for this uh, webinar, and for speaking with us during the last year as um, advocating a lot of academic interchange in the report forum. Thank you, and good day to everyone. Okay, thank you, Dr. Payawal. So again, maraming maraming salamat. Congratulations in advance sa team ni Dr. Solante and Dr. De Guia. I know that this is going to be a very successful convention or congress and I know everyone is excited to see each other but of course, with still with precaution. Mag-iingat pa rin po tayo. So hanggang sa muli, uh, I'm ending this um, webinar na tayo magkita muli sa May 7 to 10 Face to face, sinabi nga ni Dr. Solante, yung on demand or uh, hybrid platform, wala pong definite. So if you've already registered, kailangan po pumunta po kayo. And then we'll see each other there to learn, to have fun, and to have also camaraderie. So see you again till the next Health Forum. Marami salamat. Thank you so much. Thank you to the organizing committee of the 53rd Annual Congress. So, remind ko lang po ang ating radio program sa Radio Veritas airing from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, ang topic po natin ay sakitin ka ba sa sali na sa usapang immune deficiency. Napaka uh, importanting topic na dumadami ang mga pasyenteng may sakit na ganito kaya importante na malaman natin. Thank you so much till we meet again next week for another Health Forum. This is Dr. Ginger Samonte. Thank you. Thank you po sa mga panel. The Philippine College of Physicians, through the Committee on Media Communication and Health Forum, wishes to thank its media partners, social media followers, and participants. 
See you again next time here on the PCP Health Forum. Internists occupy a unique role in healthcare. They are experts in a spectrum of diseases and complex illness, earning the moniker, the doctor's doctor. Internists use their vast knowledge, experience, and skill to identify the best possible treatment strategies, making them scientific puzzle solvers. They are proponents of extensive clinical research, evidence-based medicine, and continuing education. Fueled by the commitment to provide high-value patient care that balances science and compassion. In 2023, the Philippine College of Physicians celebrates 70 years of excellence and service above gain. Driven by passion, constancy of purpose, and prudence in internal medicine. Take part in the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians on May 7 to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. Together, let's revisit all that we've become and move toward all that we can be. On its 53rd Annual Congress, the Philippine College of Physicians commemorates 70 years of passion, constancy of purpose, and prudence in internal medicine in a series of scientific and celebratory activities on May 7-10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. The four-day gathering begins with a pre-convention meeting on May 7 which opens with the convocation and award ceremonies, followed by Beyond the Box, life lessons for the internist across generations. The second day is highlighted by the 70th Anniversary Presidential Lecture on Hepatitis B and C, addressing the challenges in the Philippines by Dr. Diana Payawal. Day 3 showcases the AG Season Memorial Lectures to be conducted by esteemed international speakers. Explore 5G connectivity in antimicrobial resistance with Professor Robert Bonomo and learn about the Clinical Teaching Toolkit with Professor Jeff Stetson. The scientific program features plenary sessions on a broad range of highly relevant topics. And as always, you can expect the latest updates from a series of simultaneous clinical symposia covering a diversity of health matters as well as young investigator sessions, state-of-the-art lectures, meet the exemplars, free paper sessions, PCP quiz, and industry-sponsored symposia. Don't miss the unique and exciting fellowship night dubbed Platinum. Best of 70 Years, Best of BCP. A full evening of revisiting milestones and music through the decades. Delegates are also encouraged to engage in the insightful fireside chats. Healthcare is social, digital, ethical, and I as I. Internist as influencer on social media. The Congress is capped by the turnover and closing ceremonies on the last day. Being part of this once-in-a-lifetime 70-year historic celebration on the 53rd Annual Congress of the Philippine College of Physicians on May 7 to 10, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center. For more details, download PCP-17 mobile app today. Internists occupy a unique role in healthcare.